Yo, what's up with y'all, man? I miss y'all. I hope y'all miss me, but hey, check this out. We're about to kick it off real quick with a part two of my gun collection. We're going to have to do a part three because there's just too much going on, but let's get to it. Before that, I need two things. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Come on, man. Get notified when I post. I'm putting out good content. Turn on the notification bell. Let's go. All right, y'all, we about to get to it real quick. I got a flight to catch. I got like an hour and a half to get there, but uh, it's all good. We about, to <laughs> if we about to run through these guns real quick. I do this for y'all. Subscribe to, come on, man, subscribe, come on. All right, check this out, check this out. Let's get started right here on this pool table. If you have not seen part one uh, of all my pistols, go look at part one. That was the first video I ever posted check that thing out. So let's get started right here. Black Rain Ordnance, you guys have seen this on the channel, AR-15. Uh, I took the optic off of here that I had on it because I don't really like this weapon. I don't mess with it too much. So we're just going to put that down. Um, it does have an aftermarket trigger and barrel, and but I don't care about that gun. Let's move on to this Diamondback AR pistol. Let me bring it back to you guys. You have seen this on the channel as well i really like this thing and it ha i have the cheapest optic on it i have a uh, i think they're like 100 bucks 130 bucks um <laughs> the optic looks tinted when you look through it that's how cheap they are but uh i'm not bashing y'all true glow i still run it i it works um but i've had this diamondback ar for a while it was a birthday present and I really like this thing. It runs for me. I'm, it's fun. It's small. It's tactical. It's I like it. Then we got this right here, Franklin Armory. I really like this thing though, um, because it has that uh, has that binary in there. If y'all can see that, full size AR. I got a Sig Romeo Five on here. I really like this thing. It's fun. It runs, especially once you hit that binary. If you can get your, your trigger finger right, <laughs> that's not a trigger finger. <laughs> if you can get your trigger finger right, you can let that thing go. It sound like a fully automatic. I've done it on the channel. Check out the My AR collection. All right, y'all, let's move on to the nice stuff, some big boy stuff. So right here, we got this H&K USC 45. If y'all don't know what this is, this is a big dog. This a, uh, we got the pre-band uh, stock here. And like I said, it's chambered in 45. So you got those big boys up in there. Everything has been cleared, as you can see. Um, I haven't done any modifications to this. I want to send this off to uh, Tommy Built. And I want to get this converted into the UMP. And... Um, you know, get get a threaded barrel, suppress it, do all that fun, cool stuff that y'all like to see. Let's go to, let's just do these at the same time, you know? <laughs> you gotta do these ones together. We got the Uzi and we got the Mac. Come on now. These are just, if you don't know what these are, you do, do your homework. Do your homework. We got the IWI and this is, uh, dang, what is this actually? This is a, uh... Damn, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look. I forgot. MPA. MPA. Masterpiece Arms. My bad, y'all. All right. I got the MPA Mac, and then I got the Uzi Pro IWI. Check them out. We can look at them real quick. This one has the brace on it, as you can see. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And let's put this thing down, upside down for y'all. And then, as you can see right here, we got the MPA, the Mac. This thing's tight. It's uh, it's fun. Both of these, uh, I don't think they're too practical, in my opinion. They're, but they are fun. They're fun to shoot. They're fun to go out with. Uh, they're they're just a blast. Like this is a big magazine, twenty nine rounds. You know, YouTube compliant. This one. 29 rounds, YouTube compliant. You know how we do it around here. We stay in within the realms. <laughs> Moving on, let's go old schools. And since we're going old school, we're going to bust this out and we're going to bust that out. But we're going to look at this Rossi 357 
lever action with the gold trim. If y'all don't see me, uh, kind of matches my personality, my style. So that's why I got this one with the gold trim. But like I said, it is chambered in 357. Uh, there's nothing in the chamber, but I'm not going to rack it all the way back because then it will be something in the chamber. As y'all can see, man, just nice, clean, little baby. <sighs> Pistol grip pump on my lap at all times. Mossberg, 500. Y'all see it. Man, I don't like shooting this thing too much. After a while, it does hurt your wrist. Call me a, uh, uh, you know, if you want. But <laughs> after a while, this thing does hurt your wrist. It's chambered in 12 gauge. So if you're shooting slugs out of that thing, just... It's ridiculous, especially if you're at a range and all they allow is slugs. Now, if you're shooting some bird shot, you can have some fun with it. But slugs, uh, I've done my AK collection. So I believe you guys have seen this. Uh, dang, what is that? Uh, my Yugo underfolder from Century Arms. Mini Draco, Micro Draco. I, you guys have seen that uh, Zastava all decked out but you haven't seen it outside yet. And I have another Draco. I actually have another Zastava ZPAP. And uh, this is the same as that Zastava up there, way up top, but that one's just all decked out, brace, optics, hand guards, all that kind of stuff. So chambered in 7.62. Y'all know how it goes. <laughs> chambered in 7.62. Boom. Moving on. I got this. <clears throat> I don't know if it's a uh, pack, but I call it POC. You know, like POC 9 because R.I.P. Tupac, you know, that's my dog. But anyway, I call it POC 9, P-A-K, and it does accept Glock mags. Yeah, that's just a 10 round mag. Uh, YouTube compliant. <laughs> it does accept Glock mags. Um, it's in an AK platform. It's, it's, this thing is dope. It's made in Romania, of course. Uh, I like it. It's super dope. I'll break that out on the channel soon. That's all that is here on the table, but we're going to do a couple right here since we got a little bit of time. And like I said, we were going old school. I meant to break this out when I broke that out, but uh, I didn't. So let's get to it. I got a big dog here. I don't know if y'all have seen these much. I haven't. I'm the only person I know with one of these. If you guys know somebody with one of these, comment down below who they are because I am the only person I know with one of these. Double barrel, 10 gauge, not 12, 10, not 20, 10 gauge, dog. This is a big dog. If you don't know what a 10 gauge is, it's bigger than a 12. Now there are eight gauges. That'd be bigger than a 10, but this is a double barrel 10. You want to blow your shoulder off, uh, come over to Colorado and pull both these triggers at the same time. I've been trying to get somebody to do this. Nobody will do it. So if you want to come out here and blow your shoulder off, hit me up. We're going to do one more and then I got to get out of here. Like I told y'all, I got like an hour to get to this flight. I got to, but we're good. We ain't gonna rush. Oh my gosh, that. Kdex, 6.5, Creedmoor, right here, like I said, chambered in 6.5. Kdex Sheepdog, with the Vortex Viper on it. <clears throat> this thing's nice. So I bought this used for a good price, but the guy that returned it didn't return the bipod that was with it. So I got to get a bipod for this and then I can extend its legs out and we'll have some, some, some real fun with that. But hey, that's all we're doing today. Like I told y'all, I got to get out of here real quick. I'm in a rush, but I had to do this for y'all. So please subscribe, check out my next videos. I do this for y'all. I'm not getting paid, none of that. So please check out my videos, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and let's get to it. Cheers to y'all, I got a little jacket coat. I told y'all, I had to catch a flight, man, I wasn't lying.